finding the missing number. In this section, we will be asked to find the missing number in a multiplication statement. Now, but we did that in chapter 2. Yes, it is the same concept. However, we will be dealing with fractions in this section. Let's see what you're going to be asked in your assignment. In your assignment, you'll be asked to find the missing number. For example, one-fifth of 125 is what number, right? So you will be given something like that. Now, one-fifth times 125 equals to a box. So what are we missing? We're missing the product. Once again, this is a product. So, therefore, you just need to operate. You need to multiply these numbers. So, 1 over 5 times 125 over 1. Because that needs to be a fraction. Now, what is the next step? Do I straight multiply? No. First, you need to find out if you can simplify that. Now, 1 cannot be written as a product of prime numbers. So, over 5, 5 is as well. 5 is a prime number. But 25, what is 25? This number is divisible by 5 because it ends in 5. So that will be 5 times something. You want to find out what that number is. Since, it's, since it is divisible by 5, it means that once you divide this by 5, this division will be even. So 5 goes into 1 0 time 5 goes into 12 2 times 2 times 5 is 10 subtract 12 times 2 minus 0 is 2 1 minus 1 is 0 bring this 5 down 5 goes into 25 5 times 5 times 5 is 25 and the remainder is 0 therefore 5 times 25 gives you 125 now can I keep breaking this number down yes this is a 5, 25 is 5 times 5. So instead of writing 125, we're going to be writing 5 times 5 times 5. So let's write that in here. 5 times 5 times 5 over 1. Now let's see if we can cancel something, if we can simplify. There is one 5 in here and there is another 5 in here. So what are we left with? 1 over 1 times 25 over 1. Therefore, now we can try and multiply. 1 times 25 give you 25. 1 times 1, 1. And 25 over 1 can be just rating as 25. 